Let's set the scene. Mexico, 2004. A damsel in distress, Jane, walks into a bar. Needing a cover, Jane automatically gravitates towards John. They lock eyes, they fall in love, and then they automatically try to kill each other a couple of months later. Funny, isn't it? Well, this video isn't about Mr. and Mrs. Smith. If anything, it's about Hacienda, the new Mexican restaurant of Bree Street. But before we get into chatting, it's for the intro. <laughs> Hacienda is quickly making a name for itself, and speaking of names, you've probably guessed it's a Mexican restaurant. Now, if you didn't get that guess from the name itself, then maybe you may have gotten it from my intro. Hmm. It's a new restaurant situated on Bree Street, but before we actually dive into the meat of the video, I should probably remind you how I actually review these restaurants. So, we're going to be going in order of location, menu, affordability, service, and Vibes. Dios mio, we have a lot to get through. So let's start with the location. Like I said, the restaurant is on Bree Street. First impressions, I was surprised given what I had seen in pictures. I didn't expect it to be in plain sight. It almost seemed like it was tucked away in some secret corner. But alas, it was definitely sitting across from I Love the Dough, Burger and Lobster, La Parada, and so on. So if you're planning on painting the town red, or rather specifically Bree Street, then you definitely have a variety of restaurants at your disposal, especially with this new kid on the block. Might I also add, the place is actually also quite pretty. And the same could be said about their food. Now, the menu does resemble something out of a Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie. And no, that makes no absolute sense. So I'm not gonna elaborate on it. But what I will say though, is that the menu is nothing short of what you'd actually find at a Mexican restaurant. I'm talking quesadillas, tacos, frijole beans, and yes, I had to practice that one. And even Oaxaca rice. <laughs> I was surprised at how many varieties of seafood options that they actually had on their menu, even with the amount of vegetarian options on top of that. But be warned though that the vegetarian options aren't a lot. You could say that there are one to two options per segment of the menu. Now, of course, I had the Oaxaca adobe rice, which is basically risotto. This came highly recommended by the waiter, and once the dish actually had arrived, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, the dish definitely does have some small tidbits of pineapple in it, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But I will say that upon the dish actually getting to the table, I was slightly disappointed in the portion size because uh, just looking at it, I thought that I wasn't going to be full. And uh, yeah, boy, was I wrong. When I tell you, I left there feeling larger than life. Like seriously, my stomach was full. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't think you get it. Like I was full. I was full as <laughs> Overall, I enjoyed the dish. <laughs> So in a nutshell, you could say that the dish is quite befitting of the aesthetic, which is also quite pretty. But those prices though, I'm not sure if I can say that they're also pretty. <sighs> I caramba. Like how tequila is supposed to be had, I will give this one to you straight. <laughs> Cocktails, the cheapest one is 99 Rand, and emphasis on the cheapest one. Now, if you want to go there for happy hour, you will definitely get a margarita for half price, which is definitely 70 rand. Yes, 70. I had to pause because it's 69, but my brain was rounding up. Okay, cool. But if then you're not going to pay for a margarita during half... But if you're not going to pay half price for a margarita during happy hour, then you'll definitely expect to pay 139 rand for a margarita. 139 rand. But obviously, if your main focus is food, then you can expect to pay something north of 150 Rand. The most expensive dish on the menu, which again, I need to check my notes, is around 360 Rand. And I would say that the cheapest is 109 Rand. And obviously, this is excluding the starters. Now, the more cheaper and more affordable um, options are definitely the vegetarian ones, which again, I should emphasize aren't 
that much or that many. Now, my dish was 109 rand and my cocktail was 99 rand. So in total, everything cost 208 rand. So yeah, you definitely could say the place is a bit pricey and I'm pretty sure that if I had a meat dish, then we would be having an even intense conversation right now. <laughs> But I will say that the place definitely does offer a good variety of food, especially quantity food. So I think the price is a bit justified. And now moving on to the service. So it's definitely worth noting that the place is always fully booked. And I thought that that would give me a bit of an insight as to how their service is as well. Hmm, not so much. Now, I don't know if it was because I was dining alone, but it definitely felt like I couldn't use the restaurant as a pit stop to somewhere else. Now, if you were trying to understand what I mean, let's just put it in context. I felt like I had to wait for a lot of things to happen. I had to wait for my table, I had to wait for my food, and even at times I felt like I had to wait to be attended to. It was just a lot of waiting and I'm not patient, so don't make me wait. And please don't use me saying that I am impatient as a means to justify my wait because I can be quite patient. If anything, I was very patient, which was a lot even itself. I, it's just, I was out of my body at some point, I feel. It's just a lot of waiting, don't make me wait. <laughs> Great. Anyways, I feel like maybe if I had gone there with a friend or maybe with a group of people or whatever the case may be, perhaps I could have gotten a different treatment or something. I'm not too sure. But I will say though that the waiters and the waitresses are actually quite friendly and quite helpful. So that is the upside to waiting, I suppose. But overall, vibe-wise, listen, I'll say it's definitely cute. It's a cute place. And I remember when I was throwing in my experience on Twitter, which you should probably go follow me on, I did say that the place did feel somewhat subdued, but that was because the compactness of the space influenced me into saying that, quite frankly. If anything, aside from being cozy, I will say that the restaurant is actually quite high in the life and it's always buzzing with people and a lot of chatter. So there's that. I'd also go as far as saying that the restaurateur actually did put quite a bit of effort into the small nitty gritties of the restaurant itself. So for instance, the bar is quite elegant, it's very pretty, it's very cute. Even when you're waiting for your drink, um, you can actually just see it being made right in front of you and you can see the nitty gritties of that. So if you're into that, that's also quite cute. But also at the same time, there are also other cute elements such as, you know, the waiter actually coming up in front of your table and making guacamole right in front of you. And I found that to be quite a bit of a cute element to it, so yeah. And if that doesn't impress you, then I can definitely say that the complimentary candy floss probably will. Listen, when this thing came to my table out of nowhere, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why is it here? <laughs> But it did make me feel like I was back to being my five-year-old self and I quite enjoyed it. So like I said, the restaurateur definitely did put quite a bit of effort into the very small and very cute elements of the restaurant itself. So yeah. overall, I definitely give it a good 7.5. And the only reason why it's not getting an 8 is primarily because of the waiting. If I had not waited, then the restaurant wouldn't be waiting for the other 0 0.5 of this rating, right? Surely that's fair. Hmm. Pity bitches all the way. Ay, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> but anyways, we have definitely come to the end of our review. Please let me know what you liked, what you didn't. And also chat with me in the comments. Actually, let me know if you will be going to the restaurant anytime soon. And if you do, I also would love to hear about your experience. Now, that is it from me for this week and for this video. Again, please do suggest any other places that you guys would like me to go to. But yeah, aside from that, that's it from me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the next video as well. Bye.